Use our homemade de-icer recipe to keep your sidewalks and driveways safe this winter. Hey Jeff, what are you working on today? Well, uh, we've cleared most of the snow off the driveway mm -hmm. um, from the last three storms really. And um, what I'm working on right now is there's still like a little bit of ice and compact snow on the driveway you really can't get off. So uh, I've made some homemade de-icer. Really? What's in it? Well, uh, first off, water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm making a, basically a salt and sugar brine. And uh, so I've, I've got this sprayer from Ryobi. It really works pretty well. And uh, it just uses a regular 18 volt battery that goes in all the power tools. Oh wow. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. And you get you get a lot of life out of one of these little batteries. I think they say you can you can have like, uh, I don't know, like 50 cycles of these things. So, mm. so it's, it, it, it'll spray forever. Mm -hmm. uh, this holds like five gallons and um, what I what I use is uh, you can hand me that real quick. I can show you yeah the bag. What I use is uh, basically salt used for water softeners, and uh, it's yeah it, it works really well and it's it's really reasonable. That's the problem with a lot of these de-icers is that it's so expensive, and so coming up with a homemade remedy really pays off. Um, so I fill this up with about five gallons of water. And then I've been putting eight to nine, eight to nine cups of salt in there. And how do I know that that's the right amount? Because no more will really dissolve. Um, I use hot water. I put it in there and I stir it around for about five minutes. And usually at the end, there's just a little bit of salt left in the bottom. So I know it doesn't want to dissolve any more salt in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I've added about four cups of sugar as well. Now sugar just doesn't freeze uh, sugar water. Um, and I'm hoping that that really helps with the de-icing. Um, a, a lot of the de-icer solutions that um, you, uh, municipalities are using these days are like beet juice, very high sugar content, and they're using it because it just doesn't freeze. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have some experience working in frozen warehouses uh, with sugar products that just don't freeze. It doesn't matter how cold you get them. Um, so uh, I've got this all made. I'm gonna go outside and spray the top half or the top quarter of the driveway maybe, at least where the cement pad is. And uh, we'll see how it does. Check back soon. Sounds good. Thanks. And there he is. That backpack was so heavy with five gallons of water. So I, I didn't want to film that part. It wasn't the most uh, elegant movements. <laughs> so it's about, I don't know, 29 degrees out today. It's been snowing here for almost a week. So we had 12 inches the first storm and then we've had a couple other nights where we get a few more. I think we got probably two inches last night. So Jeff's been doing a good job keeping um, you know, the driveway as plowed as he can. I came out today with a shovel just to try and break up some of the ice because all the, uh, you know, the snow is melting off the roof and turning this into a skating rink. So not a lot of fun. So I, I broke up a lot of the ice and scraped it today. Plus I did the deck because obviously we're not going to plow the deck. I wish I had a implement that could help me clear off the deck. That sure would be nice. So, what do you think? How's it going? It's going great. Now I'm gonna kind of hit the tire path. That's, that's the most important thing. Yeah. For the uh, the Jeep as it goes inside the garage, you just uh, definitely don't want to slide going into a garage. Mm -mm. We don't have a lot of extra room in that garage. No. So, as what? I said before, it works out pretty well. Uh, the sugar salt combination. Should be really should be really nice. I've been using just salt. Now I've decided to add sugar, so I'm really kind of uh, experimenting on this batch. But um, it can only help. And like I said, I've got some experience with with this kind of stuff, and 
Not sure exactly the optimal sugar concentration, but I think that, uh, like I said, it can't hurt. Um, sugar, sugar will eventually freeze, but definitely not, definitely not at uh, 20 or in the teens anyway. So. I wish we got a little more sunlight on the driveway, but in the winter, it, the sun just doesn't get up high enough. No, no, and we're in the uh, Pacific Northwest, and uh, we have very short, very short days in the uh, in the winter time. Um, people don't realize how far north we are, uh, even considering we've got family in in Michigan and New York, but we're much more north than they are. Um, if you just look at the map, you can like, oh, really? Yeah, they are pretty far north. Well, this should help quite a bit. I'm, I'm sure. Thinking, it's already looking better. I think I'm going to add more sugar next time. Woo. But it's doing a quite a good job melting away. I've got to show these um, icicles up here. I broke them all off the lower part of the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, see, see the ones up at that corner? Yes. They're beautiful, but so dangerous. So I broke off all the ones that I could reach. Look at that one. <laughs> I'm afraid it's uh that one fell. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Ay ay ay. So yeah, as you can see, lots of snow here in the Pacific Northwest this week. This is not the usual, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot of people really aren't prepared for it this year. Um, a lot a lot of people have moved into the Pacific Northwest from other states that are much warmer, like California and uh, they don't know what to make of it. And honestly, we don't get that much snow at this elevation. We do get a lot of snow, but it's usually reserved for the higher elevations. And we're about 900 foot of elevation at, at this house. So we usually wind up getting anything predicted for a thousand feet. All right. Well, I will let you keep working. Maybe we'll get a picture when you're all done. Okay, One great. final shot. Thank you. Okay. Good morning. And we're back looking at the de-icer and how it performed. I applied it yesterday. We had a nice cold night tonight, or last night, and it was probably in the high teens, low 20s. And uh, let's take a look at the area that I sprayed and see how the de-icer performed. I'm gonna flip the camera around real quick. So, as you recall, what I did was I sprayed, I concentrated my spray in two areas and that's where the tire tracks would go for a vehicle entering the garage. And there's one of the tire tracks and it looks bare it's dry and there's zero ice in that area that's that's amazing and here's the other tire track and we pretty much have the same thing it's it's amazingly bare and there's no ice wow that that really worked well that, that really worked well um, We have a little bit of ice here that has formed. Uh, and I don't think I hit this area that, that hard because I really wasn't trying to. But we also have uh, another issue of fresh frozen uh, water coming down. Not frozen water, but just water dripping off icicles. And I think that's escaping heat from the house that's causing the ice to melt. And it just keeps dripping and so we do get a little bit of buildup right here in this one area so i'll hit that again um, but for the most part i am extremely happy with the results that we have uh, from our our solution now if you know of a different mixture or if you have any recommendations we'd love to hear it we really would and we'll try it out and uh, let you know what we think until then thanks for watching Sest out.